Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt Modai with Dodge Jam. And what we're gonna do in this video, we're gonna bet some early CFL action. Gotta play for a game on Thursday, play for a game on Saturday. Either way, I got a ton of value in these plays. But before I get into it, one thing that I do wanna talk about is the Dodge Jam Discord. Uh, the goal, excuse me, the link of the Discord is in the description of the video. The first four links <clears throat> are gonna be the most important links, all you really need to know. Um, in the Discord, it's a pretty cool community of sports bettors. Um, we have a lot of different options. We have some free stuff where we post free picks. So any pick that you see here on the YouTube channel, that's a free pick. Anywhere that I post on my Twitter or Picket or any other social media platform, it's going to be a free pick. But we also have positive EV strategies where certain uh, sports bettors can talk about their exactly what it sounds like, positive EV betting strategies. And then we do have some paid stuff as well. So the YouTube channel only has a, f a fraction of all the picks that we make. So we decided to have a paid section where people can get our expert picks. It's gonna be me, Alex, Randall, a bunch of people on the Odd Jam team giving out our best bets. So what you see on YouTube is only a fraction of it. Um, and everything up here on the paid section is obviously gonna be paid. So we have prize picks, we have Odd Jam expert, expert picks, and we also have discussion channels. So. Um, any discussion that you want to have will need to be done in the paid section. We had to change this up a little bit. It ended up just being a little bit too much. And just based on user feedback, we changed all of the paid stuff, excuse me, all of the discussion stuff to be paid. What we are doing, of course, is tracking all of our profit and loss because everybody needs to understand how we're doing both good and bad. So that is what this sheet is here. It's uh, in the general chat of the Discord. It's also in the description of the video. Um, and this is where we're gonna be exactly what, what it sounds like, tracking all of our bets. So we're gonna have total risk amount, net profit, ROI, total units one. And this is just for the expert picks. So expert picks is pretty much anything, tennis, uh, when the NFL season starts, NFL, MLB, WNBA, anything like that goes in expert picks and then prize picks is exactly what it sounds like. It's prize picks specific. So we've had a decent amount of luck, although a bad stretch recently on some prize picks plays. Still up 12 units. Overall, we're up uh, 16 units, and this is where all of our total profit is gonna be tracked on this one sheet. This spreadsheet is completely public. Uh, you can access it, even if you're not even in a paid uh, member of the Discord, you can still access the spreadsheet so you can see how well we're doing on Discord, how well and then if you want to decide to upgrade for picks, it's very easy. All you need to do is just click this link and, and you can. So that is what the Discord is going to be. I definitely recommend joining. Even if you don't want to pay for anything, there's a ton of value out of the free section. So uh, sign up using the link in the description and let's get into it. So there are two bets that I like here a lot. One, I've, already, I've actually already locked in the Toronto Argonauts money line. This was a roughly two unit play for me. I locked in, as you can see here, 55 bucks Toronto Argonauts money line. The next, I'll discuss that one last since I already placed it. The next one that I wanted to discuss that I really, really liked was this BC Lions minus seven and a half against the Ham Hamilton Tiger Cats. So this one for me was going to be a four unit bet. It's going to be a hundred dollar play for me. BC Lions minus seven and a half. These will go in the free in the free section of the Discord as well, but since you're watching it, you got a sneak preview. So let's get into it. Number one, actually, before I get into it, let me add this to my bet tracker. Ajam offers a bet tracker for completely free. It's an insanely helpful tool, tracking your bets, understanding your profit loss. It's really important as a sports better. We have a, a sheet where we track all of our profit and loss. Ajam also has a tool that does that. So make sure to track everything. Um, all of your bets. So regardless, anyways, let's talk about this bet. So the play, as you saw me lock in on bet MGM was BC Lions minus seven and a half. I bet it at minus 115 on bet MGM. The odds gym line, which everybody knows is pulled from the most accurate sports book in the world in terms of pricing odds. Uh, even for sports like the CFL leagues that aren't as heavily bet, having a tool like the odds gym line is more honestly helpful because you're getting sharper lines and, and tighter lines. So this Ajdam line here, the sports book, it accepts sharp action. They literally brand themselves as winner's welcome. Uh, so like I said, they accept sharp action and they also, they are available in a lot of different countries. So they have a wider user base. They don't have as many limits. So this betting market is going to be the most efficient. It's also going to be the most accurate in terms of what markets should, or excuse me, what lines should be priced at. So anywhere in which you're getting more favorable odds on another book is going to have positive expected value. The last thing you need to do, and this is really important before placing a bet, 
just remove the VIG, find out the no VIG odds. Luckily, the Ajdam page does that for you. So we see that the no VIG odds here are minus 120. So the gap between minus 120 and minus 115, that is what has positive expected value associated with it. In this case, the, this percent here is 2.13. This is the percent edge you hold over the sports book, which in this case is BetMGM. This number can also be viewed as your profit margin. This number of all the things I've talked about is definitely the most important because this is literally how much money you can figure to make. So I put 100 bucks on this one. I could figure to make $2.13. Um, and the way this works is the bigger the gap, this is a formula, and the bigger the gap between the no big odds and the uh, odds that we're betting it at, the greater this number. So for every 100 bucks, you could figure to make $2.13. Now, I know that doesn't sound like a lot, right? You're not breaking the bank with a $2.13 bet or a $4.18 bet. And also, if the bet wins, I get all the profit. If it loses, I lose all my risk. So how this makes sense is this is like your expected profit margin. And you will notice over the course of time, if you're tracking your bets, your actual profit margin starts to equal your expected profit margin, which is really cool. So couple things to keep in note about these two smaller numbers. Number one is these are only two bets. You're placing much more, I'm assuming, than much, much more than two bets a night. And uh, so you just add the positive EV plates on top of each other. The $6 here turns into $10, $15, $50, $100, depending on your unit size and how many bets you're placing a day. Another thing to keep in mind is these bets will settle within the week. This bet will settle on Thursday. This one will settle on Saturday. So the return on investment you can get is, is quick and you just see your profits start to compound upon each other. So again, this number is really important. <clears throat> all in all, everything checks out from a math perspective. The last thing to talk about is just market width here. Market width is a way to measure confidence in what lines are being priced at. Um, the closer these two numbers together equals more confidence and market width literally just calculates that. So 30 minus seven, excuse me, 30 minus 13 equals 17. This one has 17 cents in market width. Anything that is 25 and below, it's going to be within range for a game prop such as this. So everything checks out from a math perspective. The real reason why I like this bet so much is if you, so if you click into a play, you can, um, A, you see where every sport, every other sports book has prices for this specific bet. So the BC line's minus seven and a half. But if you open in a new tab, which is what I have up here, you can see where every book prices all of the different spreads. So what we see here is A, this is positive expected value in terms of just the pricing for minus seven and a half. Bet Rivers has it at minus 134. The Ajdam line has it at minus 130. We also see that every other book prices these odds below this amount. Uh, <clears throat> Caesars, DraftKings, WinBet has this at minus eight. Bet Online has it at minus eight. Um, Bookmaker, and then looks like Bet Rivers actually has this at eight and a half. Some books, actually, no, Bet Rivers, excuse me, has this at nine as does points bet, as does Tipico. So what we're seeing is BetMGM has this priced at minus seven and a half, and literally every other sports book prices this spread above this number. So to me, this shows me that BetMGM hasn't quite caught up to the rest of the betting market and that this is an advantage of something. This is a situation in which we should take advantage of, which is exactly what I did. So I put a hundred bucks on this one. And finding value such as this is, is the real kicker. It's how you can make them, how you can make money betting on sports. Not only is this bet positive EV just from a math perspective on the odds themselves, it's also beating the closing line in terms of what every other book has this priced at. So a point, a half a point, two points might not seem like a lot, but you just have to understand in the grand scheme of things, even if you're beating the closing line by half a point, it makes a massive difference in your profits. So this bet, <clears throat> excuse me, Minus 115 odds, BC lines minus seven and a half, I think is a really, really good bet for everything I just talked about. So I definitely recommend tailing this one. And that's my first bet. The next one is the Saskatchewan Rough Riders versus Toronto Argonauts money line. I, as you saw earlier, bet this one for 55 bucks. This is like a two unit play for me. So let me just add this to my bet tracker, 55 bucks. And let's talk about this one. So uh, because this is just a money line, it's either a yes, no, we don't have the benefit of comparing multiple spreads, but what we do have the benefit of is comparing what every other book has this priced at. And what we see, aside from BetMGM and WinBet, the other three books have this price closer to the Ajdam line. Bet Rivers has it exactly at the Ajdam line, and PointsBet has it also closer to the Ajdam line. So getting this bet at plus 180 is also positive expected value. 
The Ajdam line prices this at plus 169 with the VIG removed. 25 cents in market width, so well within range there, um, which is why I like this one as well. I ended up putting a little bit less on it just because the win percentage isn't as high. If you click this little calculator here, a bunch of numbers pop up. Um, these are all important. Uh, the win percentage being at 37% for the Toronto Argonauts versus the win percentage here being at 54. I put more money on this one. So if the favored outcome hits <clears throat> and the unfavored outcome doesn't, I still have been profitable. But regardless, those are going to be my two CFL bets for this, this uh, next betting slate. BC Lions minus seven and a half, Toronto Argonauts plus 180. If you're channeling, I would love to hear it. Hit me up at my Twitter handle that is splashed on the screen here, Modi underscore Matt. Comment on the video. Let me know you're tailing that way. And then please join the, uh, or check out the Ash Jam Discord. You can join for completely free, like I mentioned a bunch of times. Um, and you can just see if you like it or not. You can check the free picks out for a couple days. You can check our profit and loss for a couple days. Then if you decide from there you want to upgrade, it's a painless process. It's really easy. You just click the upgrade button and you're good to go. Uh, but again, that's going to be it. So I appreciate you guys watching and have a good one.